Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about everything we know about the third episode of Season 2 of House of the Dragon. Episode 3 is going to be fantastic and will feature events such as Daemon Targaryen taking Stonehenge. The first actual battle of the Targaryen Civil War in which Rhaenyra's supporters Blackwoods will fight Aegon's supporters the Brackens. Daemon scenes with mysterious new character Zealous Rivers known as the Witch Queen. Aemon and Kristen Cole starting their war and marching their armies out of King's Landing, going through the Crownlands and attacking houses that support Rhaenyra. Ok, let's first talk about Daemon Targaryen taking Stonehenge and about the first battle of the Targaryen Civil War between opposing armies in the field, the Battle of the Burning Mill. House Blackwood declared for Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen when the war broke out, while their rivals House Bracken supported King Aegon II Targaryen. In episode 3, Lord Samuel Blackwood will send raiders into Bracken lands, so Lord Humphrey Bracken will send his son, Sir Amos Bracken, to retaliate with a strong force. The Blackwoods will surprise Brackens while they are camped by a mill near a river. Amos will kill Lord Blackwood in single combat during the ensuing battle. The Bracken Knight will himself be slain by a viewer arrow that will likely be fired by Samuel's sister Alison Blackwood, future wife of Lord Cregan Stark known as Black Alley, an excellent archer who will see more fights for Queen Rhaenyra. The mill will be put to the torch during the hours of fighting. Sir Raylan Rivers will eventually lead the Bracken survivors in retreat to the seat of House Bracken, Stonehenge. They will return to Stonehenge only to find that it's been captured in their absence. Prince Daemon Targaryen riding his dragon Carixis will lead a strong host of Daerys Frey's Pipers and routes to the Brackens castle and take it. Brackens have been captured by Daemon and when Raylan returns to Stonehenge with the remaining soldiers loyal to Aegon, they as well will yield to Daemon, ending any green strength in the Riverlands. Daemon sitting on top of Carixis will tell them our terms are very simple, renounce the false king and bend the knee to the queen or your house burns. They will bend the knee. We will also have quite a few scenes of Daemon with Alice Rivers, a healer of Harrenhal and a bastard daughter of House Strong, who is known as the Witch Queen. Daemon conquered Harrenhal in episode 2 from Simon Strong with only his dragon Carixis, and Daemon will stay at Harrenhal, rallying the forces for Queen Rhaenyra until the last episode of season 2. And we will have quite a few scenes between him and Alice Rivers. Alice can see visions of the future and she can make people see visions, which is why she is called a Witch Queen. Alice can see visions in storm clouds, pools of water and flames. She is rumored to regularly bathe in maiden's blood to remain youthful, with many characters claiming she is generations older than what she appears to be. Future lover of fame and Targaryen Alice will spend quite some time with Daemon and the two will have quite a few intriguing scenes together. In episode 3 Alice will make Daemon see some strange visions. In episode 3 we will also see Kristen Cole marching armies out of King's Landing and leading them towards houses sworn to Rhaenyra in order to make them bend the knee to King Aegon or lose their heads. The Lord Commander of the Kingsguard and newly appointed Hand of the King to Aegon II Targaryen, Kristen Cole, will be marching to Duskendale and Rook's Rest, and it's he who will set a trap for Rhaenys and her dragon in Episode 4. But let's go back to Episode 3. Kristen will first lead his army towards Duskendale. Lord Rosby and Lord Storkworth will also add their strength to the Green Host, the army will reach slightly under 3,000 men in strength by the time they reach Duskendale. Duskendale will be caught completely by surprise and unprepared, and quickly fall to Aegon's forces followed by Kristen executing its lord. The aftermath of the sack of Duskendale will be shown in episode 4. This is how episode 3 will look like. It's going to be epic and one cannot wait for Sunday. For free you can now listen to the entire audiobook Fire and Blood on which House of the Dragon is based and which covers the entire Targaryen history, including current and future events of House of the Dragon for free with a notable trial using our link in the description. Please let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more videos. And as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one.